Hey there, Nick Jantakis here. In this video, we're gonna go over how to set up a couple of custom mappings in Vim to easily toggle certain settings on and off using either the exclamation points or the env prefix. So I'm going to open up my vimrc file. This file is in my .files on GitHub. I'll leave a link to this one in the description. But I'm going to hit F5 here, and we're gonna go over these binds in a minute here. I'm just letting you know what they do. And F5 is going to toggle spell check on or off. I've done videos in the past about spell check here, but you know we can see when we have the red underlined words here, these are considered typos by them. I can just hit F5 to toggle them. I can also hit F5 in insert mode and that is going to toggle them as well. Then I have a, another mapping right next to it, F6, which is going to toggle relative line numbers on and off. For example, we can see I'm, line, I'm on line 34 now, but there's 21 lines above me and 13 below me. But if I hit F6 here on the keyboard, it is going to make this be regular lines. I find this one to be very handy to have a mapping for because if I'm doing some pair programming with someone and there is relative line numbers on like this, you know, they may say like, okay, can you like jump to line eight? But then it's like, wait, is it line eight above me or uh, below me? And if I pick the wrong one like this or whatever, then you're like, wait, it's no longer line eight. It's like line 16. And it becomes like a whole mess where, you know, you can just hit F6 here and now you just have regular line numbers much easier for pair programming uh, unless they happen to be a, like a hardcore vim user as well and then i have another one here f7 right next to that which is going to toggle white space characters on and off and this one you know they all work with insert mode or not uh, i didn't demonstrate that for the f6 bind but yes this also works with um insert mode or normal mode but you know showing the white space kind of handy once in a while not so much for editing like a vimrc file but there are certain files where i do want to see you know certain types of white space characters and we can see that with the dollar sign here coming on or off so now let me go down to where these mappings are set up to make all of this work and these have been in my dot files for quite some time now but i figured this would be a good time to make a video about this just you know based on the idea of like here's how to toggle certain things on and off so with them if you have a boolean setting like you know doing something for spell check on or off or relative line numbers or showing white space white space characters uh, you can toggle them just by ending the setting with an exclamation point that's the common thing across all of these right we have exclamation points and then you know we have two different mappings here one for normal mode one for insert mode as well uh, very similar just slight differences there <clears throat> but it is the same key now there is an alias to this as well. For example, if I change this exclamation point to be INV, then these two lines here are going to do the same thing, at least uh, based on Vim's help menu. So if we do a search here for a set, and where is it? Uh, it's somewhere over here. Yeah, we can see we can invert the value. That's what INV stands for. So it's basically a way to toggle a Boolean value on and off. And you can see here, we can either use exclamation point with a bang at the end, or we can use INV. And uh, when it comes to personal preference, yeah, I am more of a fan of using the exclamation points because if you are a software developer, it's pretty common to invert an expression using an exclamation point. Now, normally in, in some programming languages, you would do that before the command or expression instead of after, but hey, at least there is that mental model here of, you know, this is going to invert something. Uh, I just find the INV prefix a little bit harder to read, especially when you're dealing with something like a long command like this that has a lot of letters already you know it makes it a little bit harder to mentally parse out that okay this is like what exactly oh relative line numbers with the env in front of it so or the inv sorry so that's why i do prefer using the exclamation points but again you know based on vim's help menu they should do the same thing uh, let me know in the comments below which one you prefer also let us know in the comments below maybe some other settings that you might be toggling with uh, something similar to this on that note, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up because it really does help a lot. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you in the next video.